Hey, hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. Last episode, we, uh, we didn't really do much. We talked to Chie and Yosuke, and watched the mid we watched the Midnight Channel first, and then talked to Chie and Yosuke. Uh, this episode, we're going to watch the Midnight Channel again. <laughs> Because we have no other options. We can't do anything else at night and well, well not at the moment anyway and unfortunately the game hasn't given us much in the way of agency yet. So even during, uh, even during the day we can't do much. You should check the midnight channel tonight too. Like I have an option. Yeah. I mean, technically they give you the option to say no, but... Let's be honest. Who would say that? It's raining tonight. Will something appear on TV? Ooh, anime cutscene. This might be bad. Good evening. Tonight, Princess Yukiko has a big surprise. I'm gonna go score myself a hot stud. Welcome to Not a Dream, Not a Hoax. Princess Yukiko's hunt for her Prince Charming. And I came prepared. I've got my lacy unmentionables on, stacked from top to bottom. I'm out to catch a whole harem, and the best of the lot is gonna be all mine. Well, here I go. Oh, no. And she's inside the TV, so that's a problem. I mean, potentially inside the TV. So, image was definitely much more vivid this time. I could have done without that. Let's, um, let's get into this, shall we? Uh, yeah, that was definitely Yukiko on the, the Midnight Channel just now. Ooh, the music's kicking in. I love this music. But I'm gonna have to talk over it, sorry. Uh, yes, I did see that. Yeah. But didn't the stuff she was saying sound weird? Oh, definitely. Yeah, I think it was... maybe. I'm not certain. What's going on? Uh... Try to contact Chie first, and then try to contact Yukiko. You're right. Let's get her to contact Yukiko-san. Or that. That works too. You promised to meet up with Yosuke tomorrow. You decide to go to bed early tonight. Right. We don't have Chie's number yet. Oh, good morning. Ah, Nono shows up. Great. It seems that Nono is the only one here. Uh, I'm gonna assume Dojima is at work, so I'll take the second option. He woke up early, so I woke up with him. Ah. Uh, he said he's gonna be late. Yeah. If you leave, Nanako will be left all alone to look after the house. On the other hand, you have important business with Yosuke today. Are you going somewhere? Uh, 
like, yeah. I'll be fine by myself. Hmm. So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. As for next week's forecast. Okay. Oh, the sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. Very responsible. Uh, weren't you going somewhere? Uh, yes, yes. You decided to go out. <laughs> Good. Let's get out of here. Sorry for the hold up. I found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. What did you find in the closet? Take a look at these. Ooh, I want the katana. We've got our personas, but a golf club's not that reliable of a weapon. Wait. Should you be wielding these in public? So, which one strikes your fancy? I mean, I said it myself, I want my katana. Ah, you've got discerning taste. This is a Juness exclusive. The blade's fake, though. I mean, still, even though it's fake, it looks real. Would you put those away? <laughs> As for me, hey, maybe both would be good too. What the hell, Yosuke? You should know better. Kind of like this? Yeah. Or like this? This is going to lead to trouble, isn't it? What about this? And just like that, there's trouble. Two suspicious young males found, one armed with multiple weapons, requesting immediate backup. Uh, yeah, uh, that's the problem. Huh? Oh, crap, I mean... No, 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 this, this isn't what it looks like. We didn't steal it. I... I don't think that's what he's concerned about, Yosuke. I guess that's not what matters. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. Says the guy uh, hiding weapons behind his back. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound right either. <laughs> <laughs> Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. <sighs> Hands where I can see them, too. I said now. But, but this isn't. Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest. Yeah, great. Yosuke, you're a hockey. You didn't get shot. You were taken to the police station with Yosuke as suspects. You didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. No, well, I assure you, yours is definitely the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. You know what's been going on around town. We got men stationed everywhere. Fair. Oh, God's sake. So lucky I was around. Now, this would have ended up on your permanent record. We're sorry. I guess. Your weapons have been confiscated. When did I lay hands on them? <laughs> it was all Yosuke. <laughs> Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? Seems like it. But she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. Why are the police hey. gossiping about it? Did he see Amagi? She really is. Oh no. Hmm? Who's what now? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. You're free to go. 
but this better not happen again. Well, the police are going to just give us free information throughout the, throughout the game. Don't question it. It's it's incredibly stupid that they're talking about any of this, uh, even in passing, where anyone could overhear them. Me. Oh, Adachi, hi. <laughs> huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Uh, yes. Oh, uh, can we ask you something? It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh. Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? And Adachi is going to be the one giving us most of our information. He just can't keep a secret. We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Oh no. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Right. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. I mean, it kind of is. And you really shouldn't be telling us this. But people have been turning up dead on foggy days. So we're really sensitive to stuff like this. By the way, did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? Oh, sorry about the uh, brief audio stutter there. I was uh, moving the game cap, the game itself, so that I could uh, keep track of stuff. Uh, I don't think she mentioned anything like that. Uh, hard times. Well, that announcer, Miss Yamana, was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Right, there's the connection. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. You think she had motive? The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. Oh, no. And, with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, she must have felt pretty strongly about the incident, you know? Fair enough. What are you getting at? By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? Okay, I thought she just says getting real weird. Because if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Do you really think that a teenager did this? <laughs> Crap. I think I've gone too far. You didn't hear that, okay? No, no, I think we heard all of that. Adachi, what the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? Well, better get that coffee to him. You're basically an intern. Sorry, I got it right here. Psst, forget I said anything, please. Forget you said what? think that Yukiko-san? Yeah, sure sounds like he thinks that. Yeah. There you are! Oh. She is here. Jeez, what are you guys doing? Uh, being arrested because this idiot decided to brandish weapons in the store. I've been looking everywhere! Oh, uh, well, there was a slight misunderstanding. We'll tell you about it later. <laughs> anyway, something's right. up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know already? Yep. I kept calling her so, but she didn't pick up. 
And that would be because she's in the TV. So I went to her house, and it turns out Yukiko really did disappear. Into the TV. I guess we've got no choice but to go now. Right. We've got to save her. But that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Right. Apparently, Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. Oof. We think that gives her a motive. And the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. <sighs> what? They think Yukiko did it? <gasps> what the hell is wrong with them? Yeah, I, I agree. I don't get what the police are thinking here. Dude, don't snap at me. Yukiko's the victim here, damn it, not the suspect. True, but what's more likely? An old person being thrown into a TV or a random murder committed by a teenager? <laughs> Uh, let's all calm down. You're, you're right. So, what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna save her, Police obviously. Totally on the wrong track. We've gotta handle it ourselves. I'm going to. And that's final. I'm going to save Yukiko, no matter what. Oh no. Are you going to be all right? If she doesn't have a persona, she won't be all right. Oh, man, they just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty-handed. Weapons? Oh, I know just the place. Oh, we're going shopping. Yay. Come on, follow me. An RPG nerd's favorite part of the game. Shopping to get weapons. And armor. What kind of shop is this? Uh, I think one that will sell me uh, the stuff we need to stay alive in the dungeons. Uh, metalworks, I guess? They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and stuff. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? <laughs> I mean, she is obsessed with martial arts. I'm not too surprised. Oh, I get it. You watch one too many kung fu movies and... <laughs> yeah, the one time you was getting, I made the same damn joke. It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Here, You're being pretty loud. Good. It might be too heavy. Yeah, that might... Full plate might be a little too much for us right now. I don't know, Chie. I still think it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, but... You don't! You don't know shit about how I feel. You think you might die from this for crying out loud? Right, which is why we're going to go into the TV and rescue her. I'm going, and that's that! Okay, but stay behind us. I'll be fine. My reflexes are second to none. Listen, that's I'm not kidding trouble. around. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not going to listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. I mean, that's why we're in this shop, aren't we? I... All right. I cut off Chia's yeah, voice line there. Uh... Well, I need a katana, and you need a knife, and... Oh, right. What weapon does Chia use? Hey, 
Mind picking out something for me, too? You're our main asset in battle right now, so I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. I got my stuff all picked out. How about you guys? Okay, so I'm just shopping for myself and Yosuke. You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. But it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice either. Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. That might work for a knife, but a katana? How? Okay, let's try that. Like, there is no safe way to store a katana under your clothing. Alright, let's split up and get ready. The store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends, and if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. They might get suspicious regardless. Again, katana. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness food court. Okay, I guess we're going to the food court to uh, meet up. Old Man Daidara. Have you come to see my art? Please, look around. Take your time. So, I'm going to buy the imitation katana. Which has a lower hit rate, but a higher attack. So, I hit a harder, but I don't... Uh... I hit harder, but at a cost. Yosuke doesn't have the same problem. He hits harder and he's more accurate. Okay, armor. I can buy chainmail for myself. Show me the info on it. My evasion goes down, but my armor goes, but my defense goes up. I'll accept it. And yeah, I'm not using that t-shirt, and I can't afford anything else. I've got nothing to sell because I don't, I don't want to sell anything right now. All things being equal, I think I'm going to increase the amount of money we get from battles in the settings soon. Uh, oh, right, we're seeing the door to the Velvet Room. So, it finally begins. Yes. Now, if you'll give me a moment of your time. I mean, I guess we have to meet with him. The velvet key in your pocket is shining. Damn magic doors and keys. We have been expecting you. Oh, Igor and Elizabeth and... Wait. You weren't out... You were outside before. What are you doing in the velvet room now? The catastrophe that is headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. Right. But you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. Right. We've got personas. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. <laughs> I mean, technically that came last episode with, the, or the episode before last with the Shadow Yosuke fight. Your persona ability is that of the wild card. Right, the fool arcana. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. Our role is to facilitate that. Right. My contribution is to give birth 
to new personas. Wait. Okay. Okay, not even gonna question it. By mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. Oh, that's what you meant. This, in other words, is the fusion of personas. Right. You have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. Yeah, I when do. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. Gee, this tutorial would be so much more useful in the uh, in the dungeon itself. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. Reach out to the truth, you say? When you obtain new cards, please do not hesitate to bring them here. Right, so I can fuse them away. If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. They will be one of your chief sources of strength. You would do well to take this to heart. Right, thank you, Igor. You recall that you have the magician social link with Yosuke. It seems when a persona of the magician Arcani is fused, that persona will gain even more power. The tome you see in my hand is the Persona Compendium. Right. Registering the personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. Again, this tutorial would be so much more useful when I have more personas than I currently do. Please see me when you wish to use it. Oh, and one more thing. I would like to introduce a new resident of the Velvet Room, who will be helping you on your journey. Right. <laughs> Unfriendly looking girl. Marie? <sighs> yeah, I can hear. Nice to meet you. The girl seems unfriendly. You feel that you've met her somewhere before. You know what? That was my first thought exactly. Why are you here? Dinner. It doesn't matter. Excuse her. This is Marie. Her soul is still very young and... Shut up. Don't tell him any more about me than you need to. As you can see. She may be brusque at times, but please understand that she is only an apprentice. And forgive her for her impoliteness. Uh, she also only appears in this version of the game. She does not appear in the original Persona 4. Got it. Marie will be dealing with skill cards. Right. Using these cards will allow you to provide your Personas with new powers. Skill cards are another thing we'll pick up in the dungeon. Also, I'm sure she will help you form a bond between yourself and the outside world. Hmm, I wonder what that means. Marie will contact you at a later date. <laughs> was there Do more dialogue that I accidentally before? skipped? All I did was press A. The coming year is a turning point. In your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. Right. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Okay. Please do not forget this. Right, he's hinting at the fact that you can game over through another method. Uh, if you forget to save anyone, uh, you game over and have to reload. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. 
Good. <laughs> I look forward to it. Until then, farewell. Could have done with all of that in dungeon, but yeah. I know this game by heart at this point. Um, so, and that has been this episode of Persona 4. Uh, and this is the last episode of September. Uh, next, uh, tomorrow's episode is not going to be Persona 4, but a horror game all its own. See you then. <laughs>